to the Labor government. Senator Davey. Uh, thank you very much, Madam Acting Deputy President, and uh, thank you, Senator O'Neill, for uh, giving me a, a very good opening to what I wanted to discuss today. Because I also wanted to talk about the situation in Western New South Wales, but uh, it's not all negative in Western New South Wales. And in fact, um, where there are incidences of COVID, it is being very successfully maintained. It is unfortunate that COVID made it out to our regions, but it is being successfully maintained. And I want to give credit to the communities that are working very hard in difficult circumstances. And it is true what Senator O'Neill says, that border closures are having unintended consequences and putting extra pressure on health services in our regional and remote communities. The fact that Broken Hill residents struggle to get to South Australia due to border closures means they are turning their attention, if they need health services, to Dubbo, which is already facing um, problems. But I also want to bring your attention to the case of Mungandai. Mungandai is a town on the Queensland-New South Wales border. Unlike most border communities, Mungandai has the same name regardless of which side of the border you are. It's not like Albury Wodonga. It's not like Echuca Moama. It is just Mungandai. The people of Mungandai live in Mungandai. They're very proud of being from Mungandai. But the people of Mungandai can't go down the road to the local shops to buy a bottle of milk or a loaf of bread without doing a 14-day quarantine at the moment. Worse still, the people of Mungandai can't go to their local health clinic because there is a border in the way, a border which is a river but a border nonetheless. And the Queensland government has decided this lockdown, there is to be no border bubble. So the town of Mungandai has no border bubble. It has no protection, no ability to go about life as normal. The residents south of the border are in lockdown, while neighbours only a few hundred metres away, literally across a bridge, are living in relative freedom. And this is made all the harder because Mungandai is a fairly isolated community. It, you can't just drive down the road from Mungandai for 45 minutes and get to the next town. In fact, I think the closest town on the, uh, the Queensland side is St George, if my memory serves me correctly, which has a fabulous hospital because my daughter was born there, thank you to Queensland Health. But that is the closest town of any significance to the Queensland side. But if you're on the New South Wales side, the closest town would be Moree. That's over an hour's drive away. So you want to hope that you don't have an accident in Mungandai anytime soon while these dreadful and draconian border closures are in place. Now, we faced our first border closures last year. And, um, we learnt. Well, I thought we learnt from that experience because the early days of the border closures, there was grave confusion in border communities at both ends of New South Wales. But we learnt. We developed border bubbles at both ends. We developed a permit system that allowed agricultural workers to cross. We allowed freight drivers to cross. But it seems that every time we go into a new lockdown, we face a new set of rules. Our border communities have no certainty whatsoever every single time. They don't know whether they'll be able to go to the shops. They don't know whether they'll be able to see their local doctor. Order, Senator Davey. Thank 